Generic greetings and welcome back once again to fights in tight spaces, today's beverages. A nice traditional cup of tea, the perfect beverage for taking out enemies and hydration, it's pretty good for that too. Either way, welcome back to fights in tight spaces where in a previous video we were looking at the trickster deck and we got to the end of the Death's Head Biker Gang series of missions in quite short order, it was a fairly efficient run. So fairly happy with that. The 1.0 version has been released so we have among other things new end bosses, just tweaks and changes throughout the board obviously just uh, the typical polish you would expect and also some changes in the decks as well and apparently a new playable character let's go to new game and overwrite a previous save go for classic here and we now have agent 11 and agent 11 i don't know why they've called them the same because as far as i'm aware the characters don't have any have any ingrain abilities so i don't know why they just didn't go with agent 11 and 12 or whatever but maybe we're going to see other agents with different abilities or whatever either way we're going to try the other agent there it's just a different look of agents so it's fairly cool that we have that option and in this run we're going to try the counter striker deck because i haven't played it personally in quite some time and also so, well, it might be quite interesting to check this out and see what some of the changes are. And to be fair, I just tend to <laughs> jump on this game and enjoy it. It's actually been, my, for some reason, my Saturday morning game. I'll jump on it and uh, do a couple of missions for whatever reason while uh, enjoying a morning beverage. But there you are. Let's uh, go into this here, which is uh, Section 11 Death's Head Biker Gang. We have Steel Body at 8 to the max health. So we have 48 health, 50 generic units of currency, uh, 10 combo and... Uh, three, oh sorry, three max uh, for our momentum there. So yeah, with the trickster we had plus one on that, so I'm probably going to miss that. But anyway, over to the bathroom, and as always, we're going to see if we can get to the end of this run. So fight, and yeah, we'll jump in and see what we can do. We have two enemies here who are setting up. I think there has been a change in uh, some of the UI. It just seems to be nice and clean and fresh. You can see, for the most part, what's going on. Some abilities, uh, especially later on, there was one that I was a bit confused over. There was like a, I think it was like a, a biker, and I wasn't really too sure how they ability work but you know you get hit once and uh, you understand pretty quick after that anyway this guy's gonna hit us for six damage obviously this deck is all about countering so I'm going to do a bit of a snap strike like that I don't want to move I just want to hit them so just hit them like that and um, yeah we'll wait for them to hit me and then we will uh, hit them back and job done that is one guy taken out so unlike the trickster deck which is all about manipulation forcing them to attack themselves things like that well, say themselves, but like one enemy to attack another and positioning, etc. This is about just standing there, getting hit and punching back. So this guy's going to hit for six. I've got power sink. Uh, I think we'll go for probably, well, power sink, quick block, block. And I'm just going to stand there and take the hit. I had 24 retaliation. I had 24 armor there, which is pretty good. Um, we've got counter, combo counter. We've got jump kick and we've got quick kick. I'm going to do quick kick to that guy because it'll push him and then end that so it hits me for a bit I whack them for 11 and then yeah you can see it's all about the blocking and look because <laughs> of the card we put in there um, <clears throat> yes we got additional combo based on like how much we were getting attacked by and job done. I just got an achievement there, I think, because I didn't move at all. Anyway, uh, we're going to go with none of those. I like to keep a lean deck. Let's go to probably the tattoo shop. Uh, should be tattoo parlor, but anyway. Over here, and this is where they're selling the tattoos, and we'll see what's going on. Uh, it appears that they have guys with a tire iron, so they're going to cause a total of... Ah, see, this is where I will have to move or kill one of them. Is it possible to kill one of them? Well, I want to do probably long counter. I want to push that guy there. Uh, that's going to cause four damage. That'll leave them with 14 left. I can do a... Oh, I can actually kill them. So I'm going to do a quick kick, which will take a lot of damage. They'll have one left or six. Then I'll just do head smash. And uh, there we go. That's them taken out. This guy will hit me, and then I will hit them back. And job done. We now have two more guys have jumped in there too. No? Be the only drop the one he's on 10 health so i'm gonna go with combo counter at six block deal two damage plus two pair combo per incoming attackers so that'll basically deal with that i however probably want to just do a cheeky quick strike like that combo counter power sink um, and then in the turn he'll take a, a lot of damage back well just the six there because that's all he had so this one here it's a bit different now because they're going to push me 
I won't be able to do counter unless I have a, uh, a long, well, unless I do a long counter. Well, let's go for that, so an extra armor, then we'll do a counter. Then we're going to do a jump kick over to there, like so. And that's going to cause 12 damage. 13 left, we're going to do a snap strike. And then I don't really care about them hitting me because I'm not going to take any damage. I'm just going to get pushed back there. Um, I think I'll probably have to deal with this guy first however what's the best course of action i'm going to do a quick strike here which is eight damage followed by the head smash which should take out the target which it has done uh that seat that the <laughs> we used to uh hit them on it, it probably would have caused probably less damage with it being nice and soft but there you go uh, they're just going to push me back and it's pretty much game over with they've got nine health so i'm just going to do a bit of a jump kick and boom there we go 12 damage let's have a quick look at the replay because why not it should look quite good so even though this is a combo deck sorry a counter deck you can see it can do a lot of damage the issue is when you start running out of the block especially when them crowbar guys will cause critical hits so yeah and also anything that pushes or anything like that moves you around it could and, and especially range targets as well that could provide a, a bit of a challenge for us but there you are either way not too much of an issue here and yeah taking out relatively easy score 360 there new card and some money we're gonna skip the card but we will go over to the gym we have 110 generic units of currency. We're going to go for an upgrade there. And I'm going to check which is the most expensive. Most expensive is the combo counter. Sadly, we've got 110, that's 120. So the next highest would be long counter. And yeah, do you want to do that? A long counter, which would give us 18. Yeah, so it adds 18 block and deals 15 damage up to two tiles away. We're going to upgrade that one, and sadly we don't have any more cash to upgrade anywhere else, so that is fine. Over to the bar exterior, so this is where we've got like loads of bikes around and such. I like these uh, red shady bits to show you where the uh, enemy can be kicked out of. Those are the danger tiles. Oh, so we have now immediately this person here, the shotgun biker. Watch out for the biker's mean shotgun. Yeah, mean shotgun. Deals 10 damage and push back all targets. And this guy is uh, going to punch for 8. So what's the order of attack? It's going to be uh, him attack for 8. And then I'm going to get hit for 10. So... How am I going to deal with that is the question. Uh, the question, uh, the answer rather, is to probably get away from them. I can block for 10, 16, so I'll still take, I'll still take two damage, and I just, you know what, I'd rather avoid that if possible. Um, so he's got block. Okay, so we're going to go for probably slip. I'm going to slip over to there. I'm going to combo counter. And I'm going to block and I should have really done a jump kick actually, shouldn't I? That's a mistake. But I needed the block because I knew he was going to get pushed back. So there you go. And now we've got all manner of problems here. So I'm going to go with Hmm, what's the best thing to do? Maybe take out the pistol thug. They're going to hit me for a total of 10, I think it was. Let's have a quick look. It is 10 damage, so we're going to dash over to them. Already played a card for 6 block. Going to get another 8 block with a counter. Do a bit of a snap strike like so. And then we're going to do a quick kick, which would cause a bit of damage because it's the pushback and the damage. They're going to shoot me. Even though it's ranged, I am next to them, so I'm going to hit them back with a counter. And they're now taken out. No problem. Lung counters just come into play, so that's pretty good. Uh, ooh, they're causing a lot of damage here. So I'm going to... What am I going to do? Uh, it's going to be 18 damage tall, so long counter will cover that, apart from the pushback off the Sawn-Off Shotgun, which will be another 4 damage, so we'll do a Power Sync, which is 8 block. So basically, everything's fine here. So I'm just going to start hitting the biker there, and I'm not going to push them. I want them to attack me, so we'll do a bit of a counter there. <laughs> That's them taken out straight away, and then there's them hit with 15 damage. So loads of damage out there, and I took none back at all. Another similar thing here. This time we're going to get pushed. So if we get pushed first, there we are on uh, phase one. So they're going to hit for a while. It's going to go for one, four damage, push back to there. Then I'm going to get shot, be pushed back to there. And basically do no counter damage. Unless I do long counter, which to be fair we have got there. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. 
Um, and we're just going to start quick striking this target here. And oh, he's going to oh oh yes. Okay, so I forgot about that. A bit of a misplay there, but it doesn't really matter too much. This guy has auto attack, so if we attack, they they basically do uh, what they've just done there, which is attack us back. So it doesn't matter. We'll just move over here, hit them. They're going to fire and take out the other target because they were uh, initiating that in the first place. Um, 13 damage for them. Um, we're going to have to do probably. Uh, oh, jump kick. Uh, let's just let's just dash to there, and then we'll do a, a jump kick. It's range two, but it doesn't matter because they are now taken out. Brilliant. We'll have a quick look at the replay because that should be quite good. A quite lean, lean mission that one. I do find that getting into the flow of the game is uh, something I've been getting better at at this stage. And I don't think jumping between the decks actually helps. <laughs> you should probably stick with one deck and work forward from there. But uh, yeah, I'm just sort of relearning because there has been changes to the decks since I played. But this Counter Striker deck, as you can see, can be extremely powerful. But some targets you have to be aware of. And it depends whether you want to make a lean deck or you want to make a, uh, a quite bloated deck with lots of cards. I prefer to keep a lean deck with lots of upgraded cards, but there you are. Speaking of upgraded cards, we now have two upgraded cards here. These are the cards plus Hammer, Fli Hammer Fist, which is 8 damage plus 2 per combo, range 1, 2, but maintain distance. That's not necessarily great for this deck. We want to close that gap. And Throat Punch, which is deal 10 damage and stun the target with no block. Stun is also not bad. In fact, stun is very good normally, but we want to be attacked. Having the option, though, is always good, so I am going to take Throat Punch. We then have the Motorcycle Club, then the Men's Room. We've also got Medical. We don't need Medical. We've got no health loss. We've also got no Criticals. We've only got 90, though, so going to the gym there would probably not be it. So I am actually going to take the hard route and go through more, uh, <coughs> more places to fight because hopefully we'll then get obviously more more stuff oh so this is a bit different this one this is the department of corrections these come from the next one so yeah this is a slightly different one so i'm glad we've seen something different this is prisoner rank and file of the insiders punch eight and every turn they get a damage boost but they're only range one and they don't push back so it's going to be how much damage are going to do eight and eight okay so i want to counter i want a quick block I want to do a jump kick. Uh, you know what? I'm going to push this guy over there just to get them closer to the end. And does my jump kick, does it push them back? It doesn't, but it means I can get away from these other two, which means when they hit me, I'm going to counter them back and take them out. So they've already been taken out, so that's pretty good. More prisoners jumping in. Obviously, this is going to be now nine damage for each one. Stun and negate effects. Prevents him from acting. Yeah, we're aware of that. A little bit of tutorial popping up there. So, 9 damage this time. Um, okay, so sadly, this is where it has let me down a little bit. I've only got Power Sync, which is 8 blocks. I haven't got any additional blocks, so I don't particularly want to be dealing with that. I do have the ability to get out of the way, though. So, what I'm going to do is go for a... I'm going to go for a Power Sync. I'm going to go for a Throat Punch on this guy going to go for a quick strike on the same target and then we'll end the turn this guy hits me and then i'll hit them oh no i didn't hit them back because they didn't have the counter uh so four damage on that target that's actually okay so i'm going to do a quick kick the reason for that is it's going to damage the first target and then the pushback will cause damage to the next one i'm going to go for a combo counter and then a long counter and then a snap strike on this target and then watch them take a ridiculous amount of damage on the counter uh, 17 damage <laughs> Um, what is the objective for this? Uh, it says defeat all the enemies within four turns. Defeat three or six enemies. Yes, we need to defeat all six. Complete the fight within four turns. We gain a maximum uh, combo, I think that is, and then reach five combo, which we've already done. So still two targets here. I've got the ability to take this guy out. So we're going to do a throat punch and then a quick strike. So there's them taken out. We're going to do a block. And then a quick block, just because we can, and then, you know, wait for them to come in. So, we've got three more turns to deal with this guy. Can we deal with this guy is the question. Add six block, deal three damage, and plus two per for incoming attacks. Oh, power sync. It's a tape block and get one damage modifier for each incoming attacker. Power sync, combo counter, snap strike, and then they pretty much die when they hit me this time. Yep, 23 damage. And, again, it's going to be counter... Long counter, 
I'm not going to do quick kick. I want them to hit me. And 12 damage. And then a 17 damage. Because <laughs> the two counter cards. Wow, this is a lot more powerful than I thought it was. We have three new cards. Root down, grapple, and combo finisher. We're going to skip that and go over to the men's room. And, uh, you know, we've, I've been having a lot of beverages, so obviously we need to head to the facilities. And, oh dear, we uh, have been interrupted. So, what's going on here? We've got a pusher and then this one. Okay, so we're going to be going to cause, or we're going to receive, rather, uh, 5 and 11 damage. Okay, I will uh, avoid that by kicking him there by moving forward. And then uh, I'm just going to just, just say, get out, get out the door, mate. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're going to counter. Uh, I was going to then slip, but I ran out of cards. So, yeah. Obviously, I'm I am actually rushing through this. So it probably comes across that you know that I'm rushing through it, this. Um, the thing is, I am you know trying to get to the end in relatively short order. But uh, yeah, if you see any mistakes, by all means, I don't mind to but don't mind hearing them if they are uh, constructive. <laughs> see you later out the door. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I liked uh, taking them out that way, just pushing them out the door. And again, look at that, that's great. So level one, extra bike emission, difficulty classic, extra objectives. We're just absolutely smashing through this. Uh, puncture, deal two damage and two pleading, ignores block. That could be very useful, but it's not a plus card, so I am going to skip it again, trying to keep a lean deck. But I'm hoping that this extra cash that we're building up will allow us to get a really nice couple of upgrades. This is where I'll regret taking that because this guy's got nine armor and he'll keep getting that. Oh, that guy's right near the back there. And we can. We can go forward and we can just quick kick him out the door. So there you go. It only causes four damage, but it's a lot of uh, a lot of that removed. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go for probably the blocks. Get that on. It, it only lasts that turn, so I don't know why I'm doing it. But I just like playing the cards anyway. What have we got going on here? Um, it's going to be... 8, 16 damage, power sink and counter, alright let's start dealing with probably the armoured guy, remove some of their armour, I could, I could push them but I have no reason to do that, I'd rather just counter them for a ridiculous amount of damage, there you go, hmm, so 9 damage and this guy as well slip behind them. Don't see any point in doing that. That guy's not going to attack this welder here. They have a range 3 attack, I think. Yeah, charge up a 3 tiles and 10 damage. So how I'm going to take these out? Again, I'm taking... I just put a long counter on. Six, 17 damage to any attacker. To be fair... Oh, no. I was going to say, if these two guys, the thug and the biker, are taken out, it means that the welder, we will then hit them back. But, um, no. So I'm just going to do that. Just activate the counters and just... And just go for that. I could have stunned one of them. I don't want to stun them. I want them to hit me so I can then use the counter. And let's see what's happening here. We have a quick strike. We have jump kick. Well, quick block, why not? A quick strike to do a little bit of damage, followed by the throat punch to stun them because I haven't got much counter this one. Um, and I can't do the kick, sadly, because it is a range 2 of 2. It's not range 2. No point in stepping away. I'd just lose momentum. Uh, in this particular case, they're going to cause... 10 damage, so we might as well activate our block, followed by a snap strike, followed by a quick kick, and then they're just going to charge towards me and cause no damage. I could move, but there's no reason to. Like I say, every time they attack me, though, as well, because of this, I think I get bonuses. Oh, no, because it's per person attacking you. Um, three more turns in order to defeat this enemy. It is very doable. We're going to go with a long counter. Power sink would work however combo count you know what combo and power sync how much damage am i going to cause 17 damage four plus two per combo <laughs> so 20 da no, this is at 24 damage okay this guy dead first one second one 26 damage absolutely amazing Overdrive. Combo is uncapped for the next three turns. Dodge. Dodge one attack. That's really powerful. Because you just take zero damage. Uh, I'm, get, I best, I get, I'm guessing you still counter. And ready up. Add two condition. Next time you block in 50% extra block. 
ready up. Yeah, we're going to ready up. Uh, we need to go to the gym, so the only way to get to the gym would be to go through the event, then the powder room, and then to the gym. Or we could go to the garage. No, that then goes down to the kitchen, so we have to do the event. So, a drunk man at the bar tells you you'll unlearn your bad habits in exchange for a drink. Why would you want to do that? We don't have any bad habits. I'm guessing it's to do with removing of cards. We're going to go over to the powder room. And let's see. <clears throat> We've only lost one health. There might be an achievement for not losing any health, but yeah. Um, right, so what are these going to do? These are bar security. Bar security with a mean punch. Push. Pushes one uh, push the target any one tile, five damage. Auto attack once per turn. Okay. So. Block. So that's going to ignore all that damage. No point in the counter. Uh, no, it wouldn't matter. What I can do, though, is... Right. This might not work out. I could have put the combo on. Extra block, deal two damage, blah, blah, whatever. But I'm not going to be there to hit them. But if I snap strike this guy... If he then counters me and pushes me there, I will then be able to do a jump kick back to cause more damage. Then this guy should attack me. That's the order I'm hoping it's going to work out at. Oh no, but I, do, I don't want to do that. Because if I do that, I'll then be in a position to then be attacked. Because this is auto attack, so I'll be attacked again. Uh, I've just checked and I don't care. So snap strike and then we get pushed. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Then I'm going to jump kick back and then I'm going to get pushed again, which... Oh, that's the, that's the one I didn't think about. Yeah. Uh, combo counter and turn. I, I was already pushed away. So yes, they would have done a bit more damage if I was there to receive it. Right. Uh, ready up is add two conditioning. Next time you get block gain 50%. We've got quick block and quick strike. So I'm going to ready up and then go for a quick block. So that's nine for that. He's only going to attack for five. What I'll do then is I will do a... I'm going to do a head smash on... This is probably the wrong way of doing it. But a head smash on this guy. 14 damage. I then get pushed like so. But I block it. I'm going to step towards there. And then I'm going to do a quick strike so to take the guy out. All right. Not bad. But we are right near the wall, though, now. And this is going to start to cause us some potential issues. Uh, okay, how do we want to do this, then? I've got this guy here with 21 health. I'm going to counter. I see nothing's great, is it? Everything's going to push him back. Slip. I can slip away. Counter. Throat punch. So that's 10 damage. I'm going to slip to there to then receive damage back and then counter them for 10 damage. And then I'm going to push them away. Do I want to push them away? He's going to attack me for 5 damage. I'm going to block 3 of it. That's 2 plus the hit in the wall, which is 6. And then I'll hit him for 10. It's not worth it. I don't mind spending a little bit more time on this one. Reach 8 combo is the optional here. Reach your combo and take less than 10 damage. Okay. Hmm. Ready up, it's a free card. Long counter. Power sink. Quick strike. And just watch all of the damage fly around now. He's going to charge into me. Long counter. 15 damage. Nice. What have we got left? I haven't got a long counter, sadly. We're going to go for... Uh, that's a problem. It's ranged. And this guy's not. Um, how much are you going to cause? Eight. Yeah, eight followed by nine. Oh, well. Combo block counter and then 15 11 <laughs> there's me reach 8 combo got that done take less than 10 damage well, this guy's got 2 health so 
sadly. Nothing I can do about that. Um, just jump kick. There we go. Just end the turn. They're going to stand there. Yeah. Two health anywhere. Snap strike. And there they go. Because we can. Show the replay. Good deck this. Like the counter deck. I played the aggressive one the other day and I wasn't a big fan. It just didn't work out. This one though. Very much is. I'm sure though. We'll come across some enemies. That's going to be a massive problem for us to deal with. I imagine the kicking deck will work a lot better with this character considering we've got heals on. Pushes, then the counter. <laughs> then the range counter. Yeah. Can we rotate the camera? No, we can't. So, it's good to have the floor's tiled anyway, because there's a lot of cleanup to do. New card, increase health, extra extra money. Broad shoulders. Ooh. That was one we were playing on the previous run. Quick strike. Hidden blade. Skip over to the gym. Upgrade cards. So, combo counter. We're going to upgrade that card for 120. And... Counter, upgrade that. Get all of the counters upgraded. Right, we've got no money. We've only taken one damage. We're out of cash. We now have 12 uh, combo and 3 momentum. Over to the pub. So the additional 8 health of the body armor bonus that we started with, uh, fairly redundant for us. Oh, that's good. Is that new? When they jump down and do that? Here's some range, guys. Um, oh, that door's closed. Shame. I was going to say that door's closed, so I don't know what we're going to do there. So how we're going to do this, we are going to... We've got, have we got no block? <laughs> we really we really have no block? We don't. We've got push, we've got kicks, and snap strike. Well, I'm just going to have to move forward and... Oh, snap strike. Uh, quick kick. I might be able to take them out. I think the push will seal the deal. Well, we didn't have any block or counter, but they're taken out now. This guy's going to hit me uh, 16 damage from two tiles away. I will do a uh, combo counter power sink. Slip to there, followed by... Oh, I was going to do a, a jump kick, but I ran, out of I ran out of points, so there you go. And ready up, counter, how much, 13 damage and I can throw a punch them from 11, I'd rather them just hit me back, quite frankly, there's the 16, 13 back, 16 damage is pretty good though, uh, ready up, long counter, can't do a head smash, just wait for them to hit me again, 16 back, yeah they're changing tack now. <laughs> 29 health. Right. So they're not attacking, but this guy is. I could slip to there. What's he doing? Summon. Summons two thug reinforcements. This is the problem. I don't do a lot of damage. I can do 9... 14 damage to him, if I wanted to. Or I could go with combo counter. Slip to there. He's only going to hit me for, what, 12? So, snap strike. Followed by a quick strike. Followed by my combo counter, which should kill the guy when he shoots. And there you go. Hmm, lots of thugs. What are they? Just 8 damage? 8 damage thugs. Okay. Well, we're going to do... Well, he's going to 16, 24. So we're going to have to go... Uh, 15... Quick block, quick kick, and 21. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little bit of damage. The other option is to push him away. I'd rather just push him away and not take the damage, thank you very much. 
there's three turns remaining anyway, so I don't have any particular time thing to worry about. And uh, throw punch. There we go. That's it. Once the boss is dead, it's end of. And I've just got the untouchable achievement. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. We have a new enhancement. Select reward. Strength. Apply plus two damage. Modify to attacks. Good. Deadly deal. Lose three health every turn, but restore health to maximum at the end of every fight. That's good. That's very good, isn't it? That is very good. And Lean Decker, we've had that before. Game 20 every time you skip a card reward, which we've been doing. Right. Plus two damage on attacks. Not, I'm going to rule that out. Deadly deal. Three health every turn, but restore health to maximum at the start of every fight. It means we'll never... <laughs> unless we get any critical cards, we'll never really visit the infirmary or anything. I mean, how many turns is it? Uh, 16, 10, 16, 18 turns we'd have. Yeah, I think it might be about that. That's really good, but I am going to chicken out. I'm sorry, I'm chickening out. <laughs> that is really good with 50 health. But I'm going to go with Lee and Decker. I've already regretted the decision, but it's made now, so let's not, let's not uh, worry about it too much. Right, Insiders. Sell 2B, or not 2B, who knows. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of fights in tight spaces, looking at the version 1.0 with the Counter-Striker deck. Very fun deck, very powerful. All the decks are powerful in different ways, that's the great thing about it. Just different play styles, and obviously depending on what enemies you're going to go for. Yeah, overall, like the changes, and like the improvements, and nice bit of polish there, it's good. Still maintain that I would really like to be able to select the... The, uh, the order in which we take on these, like, take these out. So we've got Biker Gang followed by the Insiders. It'd be nice to be able to pick so the Insiders or whatever first. But, yeah, it is what it is. Still enjoying the game. Still recommend. As always, links in the description if you want to check it out yourself. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, let me know. If you have any comments regarding the run, then we'd love to hear them. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>